All right, welcome back again. Uh, this time what we're going to talk about is uh, how negative numbers are represented in a computer. Um, it's a mechanism called two's complement notation. So let's go ahead and set the stage a little bit. Uh, let's talk about um, how computers do addition first. So if a computer was adding two uh, binary numbers, uh, it would be able to add them up fairly quickly. I mean, you could do this as well. Um, it would just carry ones as necessary um, and you know it would add them up and boom it would do the math right um, no surprise it can do this extremely quick I mean the operation you just saw I mean it can do like in less than one microsecond right it can do many 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 millions of them in in a second um, and so it's really fast and this actually kind of leads into why they do something that you might not expect uh, with how they do negative numbers um, is because computers do addition uh, like rock stars. Um, <clears throat> just to kind of do some practice, uh, see if you can do this one. Um, add these like a computer would do them. So first convert them to binary, which would be your first step, and then add them as two binary numbers. Um, and then once you get a binary result, uh, convert it back. Um, and I'll give you a tip when you finish um, it should be eight. All right, take a minute and see if you can do it. All right, I'm going to do it as well. All right, pretty simple. So three in binary is zero zero one one. Five in binary is zero one zero one. Um, if you add them up, you know you get a carry there, a carry there. Um, you get that number in binary, uh, which of course is eight. Um, so that's how a computer does math, right? It doesn't look at it. It doesn't do anything with decimal. A computer at the low levels doesn't even understand decimal. Um, it does everything in binary. Um, and then you as a human um, might want to think about how it would work um, in decimal. Uh, now the question is subtraction. Um, so as a human, you know, you could do subtraction, right? So you kind of, I don't know if you remember how you do this. You uh, you know, carry it over and this becomes a 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1. Um, you know, you could do this if you wanted. Um, turns out that even though you as a human could do subtraction in binary, a uh, computer actually does not ever do subtraction. It's like, wait a minute, I do subtraction all the time on my computer. Um, what it does is it converts this bottom number into a thing called 2's complement, um, and then it adds them together. So obviously there has to be a very specific way to represent this number um, in two's complement. Um, there are a lot of ways to kind of start explaining it. One way that I kind of like to explain it is think about it as like an odometer on your car. So this number is seven uh, and then six and then five, four, three, two, one, zero. Um, if you think about your odometer in your car rolling like zero minus one, what would that look like on our odometer? Um, turns out that what it would look like is right here. It would look like all ones. And then if you were to take this number and subtract one from it to get to negative two, um, it would look like that guy there. And subtract again, subtract again, subtract again, subtract again, uh, subtract again, and then subtract again. Um, so it turns out that if you think about kind of going around in a circle, um, with only four bits, you could represent the numbers from seven uh, all the way down to uh, negative eight. And that kind of seems weird to you at first. You can go up to only seven, but you can go down to negative eight. That's kind of weird. Um, that's just how it works, right? And the reason is you have to have 16 total individual values. And because zero is one of your values, you can't go to like positive eight because then you'd have 17 values. Um, so, I mean, if you wanted, you can go ahead and fill in this thing on the side. Uh, but I think you've kind of got the idea uh, from just the chart right here, right? Uh, so this is the introduction to two's complement. All right, I'll stop doing it. Um, <clears throat> and there's a lot of little details that go along with it, but this is kind of your introduction to uh, two's complement. So all negative numbers on a computer are stored with two's complement. Um, it's done that way because it makes math really fast, right? So that's how a negative number is actually stored um, on a computer. There are actually tricks for converting uh, from one to the other. Uh, the best trick, I mean, I mean, there are, there are longhand ways to do it, but I find this trick easier. The trick works like this. Uh, start on the right um, and move in until you hit your first one. Um, 
leave that one alone. So like leave that one as a one and then flip the others. And that kind of is your negative binary number. So this number right here is negative one. And it actually works with any number, right? So let's, let's go to a hard one, right? Let's go down here to six. So if I start from the right, I've got a zero. So I just copy it. Um, ooh, I hit my first one, so I copy it over. So whatever the first one you hit, um, it comes over. But then the rest you flip. Uh, so this number right here is negative 0, 1, 1, 0, uh, which you may recognize as negative 6. Um, it works for any size number, of course. Uh, but you just start from the right. Um, as soon as you hit a 1, so I'll do this one. So I'll copy that one. There's a 1, and then flip the rest. Uh, this is negative 2. Um, so as humans, uh, this is the best way to kind of go back and forth, is this little, like, trick. Um, we could explain why it works out, things like that, but to be honest, it's easier just to implement it, right? It's fairly easy to implement. Uh, let's go ahead and get some practice. Um, <clears throat> so the real question is, um, is this a uh, negative number or not? So I, I thought there was practice. I guess there's no practice. Um, and so this number right here, is it negative or is it not negative? The way you can tell if it's negative is by looking at the most significant bit. If the most significant bit is a one, that means it's negative, right? Now the question is, you have to know how many bits there are in the number. So that means this number right here, if it's an eight bit number, um, then yes, um, it's negative, right? Uh, because if it's 8 bits, if it's stored with 8 bits, then the most significant bit is a 1. Yes, it's negative. If this same number was stored with 16 bits, uh, then no, it's not. Um, because its most significant bit is a 0, because it's way over there and it's 0. Um, so in order to store a negative number, you have to know how many bits it is. That turns out to be quite easy. Um, on a computer, uh, we deal with a couple different um, sizes. We deal with 8-bit numbers, uh, which are called chars. We deal with 16-bit numbers, uh, which are called ints. Um, and we deal with 32-bit numbers, which are longs. The words um, char, int, and long, by the way, some people pronounce that one car, um, depend on the platform you're on. Um, if you're on a computer, um, that a long is going to be probably 64 uh, bits long or or much bigger even. Um, and longs and, in, and ints will be different too. Uh, but for the one that we're on, 8 bits they say is as a char, 16 is an int, and 32 is a long. We'll talk about this next time when we get into variable types more. Uh, but I just thought I would mention it here because you have to know how many bits something is to know if it's negative or not. Um, so here comes the practice. Um, so express negative 20 um, as a twos complement um, binary number. Um, and then I said make it a sign char, um, which means 8 bits. So see if you can tell me um, what are those 8 bits. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do it as well. Um, so the way that I would do it is I would start off by converting it uh, into binary. Uh, so if I wanted to convert this into binary, um, I think that's it there. I just know that, that this one is 16 um, and then this one down here is four. So like, that's my negative binary. And then I'm gonna use my trick. So my trick says, copy them over um, till I hit the first one. So I hit my first one. And then after that, uh, start flipping them after that. So the answer to this question is, um, what gets stored in memory? The thing that gets stored in memory um, is that right there. So um, 1110, uh, 1100. No surprise, the most significant bit is a 1. Now, if I was dealing with uh, an integer, um, this same number would look like this. So 11. One zero, one one zero zero. So as an integer, it looks like that. Um, it's the exact same number, right? I know it looks like it has a lot more leading ones, uh, but when you're dealing with 
with twos complement negative numbers, um, it's kind of like the leading ones get ignored, right? The important thing is that this um, most significant bit is a one. Like that's the important thing. Just to prove it, um, let's convert this thing back. <laughs> Blowing my mind here. Um, so if I converted this thing back, I would start from the right. Um, I would go until I hit my first one, and then I would flip the rest. Um, so you can see why leading ones don't really have any effect, um, because this thing is um, negative of this, uh, which is negative 20, right? <laughs> If you were dealing with the signed long, um, you know, it would be the same game. It would just be more leading ones, right? So I'm getting sick of writing them already. All right, so there it is. Uh, I got kind of long. Um, there it is as a long. Um, so it has uh, 32 bits. Um, I kind of ran out of space there. Um, but you can see it's the exact same number. All right, so that was negative 20 um, and how it gets stored in the computer um, depending on what type of variable it is. So the reason we do all this twos complement stuff is so that we can actually do subtraction uh, on the computer, which is kind of the point. Um, so see if you can do uh, negative three uh, minus four the way a computer would do it. And the way a computer would do it is it would convert it to binary, twos complement, it would then do addition, so there is no subtraction, um, and then convert it back to decimal. Um, I'll give you a hint, it should eventually convert uh, to negative seven. Um, so see if you can actually do that the way a computer would. All right, so I'll go ahead and do it too. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what is negative three and what is negative four um, in binary. Um, so I mean, kind of one way you could do it is to write it as, you know, a a positive uh, binary number and then you do that little trick where you flip it um, and really I should put all the leadings out here so I start from the right until I hit a one that one stays and then everybody else uh, gets flipped so there's uh, negative three and negative four as two's complement numbers uh, then you get a binary addition so you get uh, this number here, I think I wrote one too many uh, numbers up front there. Oops, I erased two of them. Um, but then you convert this back to decimal. Uh, so you do the same trick again. So the first one uh, is right there, then you flip the rest. And so this is uh, negative seven. Woohoo! Uh, so that's kind of the whole point of two's complement. It's the way the computer stores negative numbers, and they do it to make math easier. All right, uh, next time we'll show you real quick how hex, negative hex works. See you then.